Welcome back to New Day Cleveland. This is the sixth leading cause of death in the United States. We're talking about Alzheimer's, but there is help, and that is the good news here. So please welcome Rebecca Zeider with the Alzheimer's Association. Good to have you here. Nice to be here. I think people often forget how beneficial a helpline can be mm -hmm. until they actually do it. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, the 24 7 helpline at the association, it's all about making that first call. Once you make that first call, that support's there. Um, we have a variety of free support and services, but it's about letting people know that we are there through our helpline any time of the day. And I think it is, you know, it's almost, it's scary and jarring to know that it's the sixth leading cause of death. So this is a yes. big killer out there. It is, and it's only growing. Um, right now there is no cure. Um, that is something obviously we're working towards and we're trying through research um, to figure that out. But unfortunately, it is you know the sixth leading cause of death without a cure. Um, but that doesn't mean individuals don't need that support. And so when they're calling, how does it work? You, do you have to be diagnosed with Alzheimer's to make that phone call? No, that is the biggest misconception. We actually treat all forms of memory and thinking challenges. So any form of dementia, um, no diagnosis needed. So even if you're sitting there looking at your loved one saying there's some changes going on, um, something, maybe dad was always in charge of the finances mm -hmm. and now he's getting things mixed up. That is a sign that individuals should take reach out to us through our helpline, we can just talk about it. It doesn't mean that it's Alzheimer's, um, but it means that we need to navigate and figure out what is it. And it, it can be a, a very scary process mm -hmm. for family members. I went through this with my grandmother as she was passing away, and it was yeah. it's extremely scary. It is. And so to know there's little things that they're doing possibly that you don't understand what's going on. And to have someone like that mm -hmm. explain it to you. Yes. And maybe do you give, I mean, what all what all do you offer to people? That's a, So we have a variety of free support and programs. Um, care consultation is um, where a care consultant will navigate um, a person through different community supports, also chapter resources to figure out how can, if it's you suffering from the disease mm -hmm. or your loved one, how can we provide the best quality of life? Um, so that navigation is there. Support groups, which are free, um, and our caregiver support groups are free and open to the public, so you don't have to pre-register for them. Um, but all of this information, if you call that 1-800 mm -hmm. number, we can get you a listing. Um, it's also, of course, on our website as well. You make a really good point. For someone, I'm you know, looking at this as family members, but for mm -hmm. someone who's going through it themselves and in the early stages of something and they're terrified and really yeah. they don't want to ask their family these questions, mm -hmm. it's a great outside source to utilize. It is, and you know, as a society, we tend to be more reactive than mm -hmm. proactive. Mm -hmm. um, and when you're dealing with the mind especially, that's your independence, that's changing your character, um, that's redefining who you are to society, that's a really scary thing. Yeah. Um, so I talk as a professional, mm -hmm. can't imagine what it is to be the person and or the family going through it, but we are there and we meet people where they are. We don't you know, push any services on, we just wanna listen to the story and then try to get them the best help. It's a great way to utilize this, and I can only imagine that in time, if people continue to support an organization like yours, this foundation, yes. that there could be a cure someday. I hope so. You know? I Thank hope you so. so much for Thank being here. You. I greatly